um, team. I have Sherry D, Sudhir Kaspi, and I'm Shoshan Kujanowski. So let's talk about a problem first. I've been living in a neighborhood for seven years. I have to know my very immediate neighbors, but if I go two or three houses down, I'm very disconnected. That was pretty frustrating for me. I had a kid, teenager, who's sitting home or playing basketball alone outside. Where's my neighborhood? Where's my connection? It turns out this problem really isn't unique to me. For instance, Sherry. Yes. So I moved to my new neighborhood six, uh, six months ago. Till now, I still feel isolated. I want to find a play date for my daughter, but I don't know who's the person I can go talk to. So this is a problem that will happen to me. Now, in the very short time that we had in these three days, we went out and surveyed our neighbors, surveyed people in our neighborhood, talked to people who were merchants in the neighborhood, and what we found out was, in fact, this problem really isn't um, isolated to us. There are many, many people, even across the country, who feel extremely isolated. So we have exactly one simple thing that we want to do. We want to connect neighbors to create thriving communities. That's it, one very simple thing. We're creating a social platform that's location-based and interest-based that helps people connect to each other. With the platform, people will be able to do very simple things, register their interests, find neighbors who have similar interests, schedule events, activities on the fly. Hey, I'm going to have a pickup game outside of my house. I'm supplying the lemonade. Bring the kids who are going to play basketball. Pickup game at the field. Let's go. Outside barbecue for the neighborhood, let's connect. Let's find things that we can do together. That's what we can do with the platform. Now let's see a demo. Yeah, okay, so uh, let me get started. Uh, the whole idea of, uh, of connecting neighbors is first of all, you want to use the existing tools, existing stuff. Uh, you can get to, this basically would be uh, localized or basically whenever you come in, based on your location, which neighborhood you belong to, you can get some basic information in order. But the most important thing you can do is you can go register your interest. So if I go here, if you click here, we'll just jump and keep it ready. I can go ahead, log in. I'm, I'm, that's my uh, email address. Startup weekend, that's what I'm interested in. I'm from Seattle. I can provide some basic information. I can save it. What happens is it actually saves all this information in our system. Our plan for customer acquisition is we want to go ahead and actually automate this process by providing Facebook integration where once you go ahead and click on it, you will automatically will get their interest, will get their location, and that's how we'll do it. Of course, it's opt-in model. You can't just go ahead and get people's information, interest, and all. But it's an opt-in model, but we'll make it very easy for people to come, uh, come and provide their interest. Uh, we'll have some small postcards like these uh, shipped into mail because we want to start in first three to five neighborhoods in the area, in the Seattle area and make it local, go to community centers and distribute this and let them register very simply their interest. Once that happens, what actually happens is, in the background, our system actually will go ahead and uh, match people on their, based on their interest. For example, uh, I went ahead and uh, uh, did this right now and registered, <coughs> I got an email. Now this is uh, my Gmail account and I had another account and there are a bunch of other accounts that, uh, that had similar interests like Startup Weekend. We had Levon, uh, my other account, a bunch of them. So you can go ahead and see this. I had another one where we had uh, one more. And then you will see all the interest sending pushed out to all the individual people. So that's the, that's the key idea. Of course, you can go to the site and of course search for uh, your neighbors based on your interest, location, and stuff like that. So that's it. Uh, that's a quick demo of what we want to do. And from here, we'll talk about the model. Okay, see you there. We're not in this to make a huge amount of profit. We're in this because we have altruistic reasons really for ourselves as well. But it turns out there is a profit model behind us. One thing that I did yesterday is I put my feet on the ground and I went to Madison Park and I walked around and interviewed uh, uh, merchants from stores and said, hey merchants, if you had a better way of connecting to your community, would this help you with your business? And the resounding answer was not only yes, but they'd be willing to pay for it. So technically we're not making a lot of money. We expect that with the 43,000 zip codes uh, nationally, that we could uh, begin with a rollout of five communities, but expect revenue from advertising of nothing more than like $5,000 a community. We're talking this is very low for very high service. And over time, we actually have the ability uh, to create something that's at least profitable. Now, the learning process
process was amazing for us. Okay. Thanks, guys.